Uh, so this guy says, I have a coworker who always knew I liked her. We became good friends over five years. Well, you already screwed up there because you, at the point that you realized you liked her five years ago is when you should have made a move to ask her out. Now you've been with her for five years and it's going to be a problem, but I'll get into more of that. So he says, I recently confirmed I like her and now she feels uncomfortable and says she just wants to be friends. Saw that coming. Now things feel awkward between us. How should I act around her and with her now? Well, you made the mistake of thinking that because you were you knew her for five years at your job or whatever, that in that time frame, you got to think about this, right? In that time frame, you've been pining over this girl, I'm assuming for the five years you've known her, right? So you've had time in your head to develop what it would be like to be in a relationship with her, the great times you guys would have together, how well you guys gel. You've had moments where you've seen, you probably spent time with her and thought, oh, this feels just like a relationship. And so you've built all this in your head over five years. And then you're going to her and saying, hey, just so you know, I really like you. You've had five years to know that knowledge. And you're springing all that effort and energy and focus onto a person that is learning this for the first time. This is why I tell you guys, you don't need to go with the girls and say, hey, just so you know, I really, really like you. Because that comes with it, this idea for women that because you're telling them that, they now have to decide on the moment if they like you too and they want to be with you in a relationship capacity. And you've done none of the steps that are going to build to her having feelings of wanting to be in a relationship with you. So it's very unfair for you actually to go to a woman and say, hey, just so you know, I really like you. But I get it because guys think you have to put the cart before the horse. You have to tell a girl that you like her in order to then ask her out on a date. And that's not how this works. How this works is you, at, you suggest going out to, uh, to a one-on-one -on -one thing sometime, at which point you can then wine her and dine her in a, in a situation that's more indicative of trying to build towards a potential relationship. Not being in one yet, but just building towards one. But you, you cut all that out when you say, oh, I really like you. What do you think about that? Do, 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 do. And also, you because you've had this strong like for her, you've been projecting onto her that she also has those same feelings, and she doesn't. Women are very friendly to people in general. They're very nice. They're very caring. And they can do that to somebody who's their brother, their close personal friend, or they're in a relationship with. So that means that because you've been projecting your interests, you may have been also reading from her signals that you're reading as she really likes me, and it's really just her being friendly to you. So all that to say, you've made things awkward and uncomfortable. And hey, I've been in the situation where a girl I've worked with, we liked each other. We even hooked up a few times, and then I started to get all weird. And then so uh, we stopped hooking up, but I started to go to work and see her like at least one or two times a week. And honestly, you have to basically... How do I say this? You say now things are awkward. How to make the, how should I act her around her and with her now? So you basically just have to act like you didn't do the thing. Like real talk. Like you have to act like nothing was said. You can't go in there acting butt hurt or feeling like, well, I told her I liked her and then she's gonna not like me. So now I just gotta uh, like no. You just talk to her like you were before. Like nothing's going on. Uh, chances are she's going to probably now that you've mentioned this is probably gonna have a hard time coming to you initially because she's going to be thinking every time I go to him to have a conversation, he's going to think that I probably like him all of a sudden. That's not the case. So, you know, you, you're at work to work. So focus on your work. If you happen to have a, a reason to come with a conversation with her, have a conversation. If she comes to you for a conversation, don't assume that conversation means that, that she suddenly wants to be all buddy, a uh, uh, lovey dovey with you. Just treat it normal. And it's going to feel awkward at first, but ultimately guy, this goes back to projection. If you're projecting awkwardness into the situation, it's going to be awkward versus just be like, hey, if she starts saying, hey, you know, once again, I just, I'm really sorry that I, you know, I know I, I don't have those feelings for you, blah, blah, blah. Just be like, hey, no big deal. You know what? I was, you could say this. You could say, you know, I, I thought that I was reading something from you that indicated that you liked me, which is the only reason that I said the thing. And then you don't. And you know what? That's totally fine. I think you're a great looking girl. So who wouldn't like you? But hey, I totally get it. I have, I have no, it's no big deal. And then go about your day. In the meantime, though, Start talking to other women, start seeing other women. And if you happen to relay one of those stories about seeing another girl with another coworker and she happens to overhear it because you say it while you happen to be in the same vicinity, yeah, hey, that, that, that thing could happen. And she might hear those stories and start thinking, wait, some other girl's seeing him? Like, oh, wow, that's amazing. Like, whatever. But like, don't, don't bank on that being a thing. Ultimately, guy, don't project awkwardness. She has the right to ultimately choose who she wants to be with. If it's not you, it sucks and it hurts, but it is what it is move on to somebody else. And just when you go to work with her, just talk to her like a regular human being. I know it's going to feel awkward because we, we there's a part of our brain that's almost like, oh, if I get around her and talk, she's going to feel like I'm still giving that energy. It, 
girls deal with this all the time. Girls have five or six dudes in their friendship box right now, probably liking them. This is not new hat for her. This is just, this is the old hat trick that she's probably had to deal with before. Trust me, guy. She's dealt with it before. You're the only one that feels awkward about it because as guys, we get awkward about that kind of stuff, but she's, she's totally fine. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high.